pop this cover off. Yeah, a lot of times you have to take this oil cap off and set that aside. And we'll just pop the cover. It's got some rubber grommets. Get that off so we can see the coil packs. And I'm going to set the oil filter back on. And these covers always allow for some rodents to get in here and have a nice warm hiding spot. So we're going to pull the coil packs off. We're going to vacuum that all out. Get all this debris in here. There's some acorn stuff in here. Just get it clean and get it out of here so it doesn't attract any more uh, critters. So we have our connectors here on the coil packs. We can look at squeezing this down and sliding this connector off here. I'm just pushing down on the little button here. And they're all, they all can't get switched around, so we'll, we'll take these all off at one time right now. Get these tucked out of the way. And we got an eight millimeter to get on these. We're gonna crack these loose by hand. You don't wanna just put a zip gun on them. If they break, you're kinda having a bad day because that's what holds the coil pack down and you really need to have the coil pack pushed down in front of it. So we'll crack those loose, and then we can zip them out with the gun, we'll put a little never seize on them for when we put them back in. So we we'll get some tools set up and we'll get going. All right, so we're gonna crack these 5 16 loose. Just crack them all. Sixteen socket, right? Yeah, right. Eight millimeter. Eight mil. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll, I'll take the coils off. Really I'm gonna put the coil pack down here. Now I got some silicone spray and some dielectric grease, and we're gonna take some dielectric grease. We're just gonna put it into the little blob in there. Okay. We're gonna do this on each one, and we're gonna spray spray this boot down with silicone spray. Okay, and this just helps keep them moist. If they dry out and crack, the spark will arc out to the side and the engine will skip. So we're gonna do this to all four of the, the coil packs right now. And Steve's gonna vacuum up his acorns. Holy shit. There was a mouse fucking house. Yeah, you wanna put the oil plug back in so you don't get any of that crap down there. You know, we got them down in here. You know, to get this out of here, the smell, you know, you're not, you're gonna get less rodents that, you know, they already think there's a house there, they wanna come in, so just clean this out. And try and get as much of it as you can out. All right, that was pretty good. So you know what happens if you don't get rid of that and take care of your rodent problem? They're going to get into eventually all these wires and they're going to have a bad day when you're trying to go to work. So we kept these all in line. Pushing it down, boot down. And I'm going to go grab the other two. You'll feel them the way they get down. Put them down straight. And slide right down the boot. You grab the never sees for these. And we're just putting a little bit on each one of them, you know. I'll set them all in the holes for now and I'll come back and thread them all at the same time. So we made sure all plugs were tight. Catch them all by hand. I'm gonna use the gun to just get them so that they tap. That's it, I'm gonna tighten them by hand. Okay, I got my ratchet. I'm gonna snug these up. You're not killing these, you're just getting them a little snug. Those nut certs are in plastic valve cover. 
and they can strip out. So, all right, so that's good. We're inspecting our connector pins here to make sure that they all look good, there's no corrosion, and we can start plugging these in one at a time. And like I said, you can't, you can't really screw these up. They don't reach another length. And you hear the click, that's what, that's what we're listening for. Look at the other one there, make sure there's no debris in there. And we're looking at this here, that one's good. And this is an inexpensive can of silicone spray, probably $5. And we're just, we're just gonna coat everything really quick. And now all of these are gonna be sealed up from water. These little alignment dolls here, that we've gotta align up. And we've got one that goes over here, and one here, and one here. So once you get one of these lined up, coming down, you know, the other one should fall into place and it just fell in place. We're gonna put the oil cap back on it and we're gonna fire it off and make sure that it runs smooth. Give it a little throttle. Put it in drive, step on the brake, put it in drive. Okay, running good. That's basically it. Pretty easy one. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment. I will reply back to you. Thanks for watching, guys.